Joshua Septege, Uganda Olympic, fourth silver medal, Tokyo, Japan, 2020, 2021. The waiting is over. Joshua Septege, born in 1996. A Uganda long distance runner and 2019 world champion in 10,000 meters has won a silver medal for Uganda, Tokyo 2020. Some of us may think that this is no big deal. But those type of people are wrong. The Olympic Games is very important to individual countries. And those who participate in the famous Olympic Games are professionals. Some of you may think that they are just long distance runners, but they're not. They are professional. You cannot wake up in the morning and then say, I am going to run 10,000 meters and I will become a champion. You have to train. You have to start working on it as hardly as you can. And these men and women of Uganda has proved to us that they are real professionals. And those of you who think it's not a big deal, you are wrong. You see, ever since we became the family members of the Olympic Games, we only won seven medals. And these great sons and daughters has brought us pride. Nobody can deny. And the silver medal that Joshua Septegay got in Tokyo has additional value to the numbers of medals we have acquired since we joined the Olympic family. And I would say thank you very much, Joshua Septegay, for what you did. And let me be clear, and let's get started. We know that Joshua Septegay has made history, not only today, he has beaten so many world records. He's a well-traveled man and winning the silver, it added more to his collection. He had those collections already. He has traveled the world. We know that is the tenth man in history to hold the 5,000 meters and 10,000 meters in world record concurrently. Board set in 2020. And in 2017, he won 
medals in various events at the World Championship in London in 2018. He set a world record for the 15 kilometer road race and became the Coast Country World Champion in 2019. In 2020, at a road race in Monaco, he beat previous best time of 13 minutes set by a Kenyan, Sami Kipketa in 2000. The star we are talking about is not new to these things. He knows exactly what he's doing, where he's going. That is why he became the champion. We all know and very proud of you, the Capture of Wonders. The, from Kapchora district. We know you love sport. You first play football. You tried out long jump and triple jump. But you found out that that was not what you want. And you decided to stick to long distance running, something you are best in. And you have made names, not only in Uganda, but wherever you put your hand or your foot on, you are names remain recorded in different countries. We also know that you studied language and literature in Kampala for two years. And you are working for Uganda National Police. You have a track record of silver medals in 10,000 in World Championship, London, 10,000 meters. 2015, Beijing, finishing ninth. You also ran at the 2016 Summer Olympic. 5,000 and 1,000 meters, finishing eight and sixth place. We know that you are a four-time winner of 15 kilometers races in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. In 2000, 18, you set a world record for 15 kilometers road race and finish. and improved the world record by eight seconds. We know that you are, you are also a winner of the senior men's race at the 2019 
E R E F Wall Cross Country Championship in Denmark. In December 2019, we also know you set a new record in Valencia, Spain. The time of 26.38 improved the previous world record set by Leonard Common in 2010 by six seconds. In February 2020, you set new record in five kilometers road race in Monaco with a time of 13.51, beating the record set by Robert Lear in November 2019 in Lille, France. When you take a glance at the achievement of this sportman, Joshua Septegay, then you understand what sort of professional he is. He is a professional. He is still young. But he has already set world records after world records. Especially in what he does best. And that is long distance running. And today, you have had it, the fourth very important silver medals to the list of Uganda medals since we joined Olympic Games. You are going down into history has been one of the best because so far to my knowledge we have only 11 of you who are in the records of the Olympic Games ever since we joined and therefore one hope would like to have this opportunity to thank you, sport men and women, those who brought in medals, and those who didn't get anything should not be discouraged. My father used to say, nothing come easy. If you fail today, you try tomorrow, because tomorrow may be another day. It means some of you who never won the medals, you can still work hard. And I believe in what my father said. You can only reach your goal when you work hard and harder. Sometimes you fail, sometimes you succeed, but there's no option in giving up. As we look at those, like Joshua, Septagay, You had been breaking records after records. 
It does not mean that what you're doing is easy. I was talking to some few friends and one just made a nasty comment. Said, it is just running. But it seemed he didn't even understand at all what sport is all about. Your track record speak for itself. All those kids, the new generation, growing up, they are looking at you as a brother, as a father, as a prominent person around the world. And I know a lot of them would like to be like you. A lot of them would love to follow your footstep. You have a big job ahead of you. They will knock at your door for help. If you can train a few more of those long distance runners, every time we talk about Olympic or other games, events around the world, we know that our sportmen and women have been winning a lot of medals, have been winning a lot of gold, silver, and bronze in other games, like the Commonwealth Game, All African Nation Game, and so many events around the world. We have seen how best you can perform compared to a country in Europe where their players have enough time to train. Some of you have to work first and train because you also want to feed your families. Let's hope in future things will change. You see, my aim was focused on extra medals ever since the Olympics started. And I mentioned it in one of the episodes. I mentioned it. I said that one oh, the fireplace, we expected that all of you were going to win four to five medals. Because if I look at your background and the record, the world record you have set, I had no doubt in you guys that something was going to come out. And it did. And I'm very grateful that at least we got and added more medals to what we have. And today, we are standing at 11. From 7 
to a living. That is a job well done. We are proud of you. And we are going to be in your death forever. It is now. On you guys, with the men and women, to make sure that your success that manage to add additional medals to what we have continues. We are proud of you sportmen and women of Uganda. And let me repeat, those who didn't get medal should never give up. If you fail to qualify or win a medal, today is not the end of your career. You can always work hard. Remember, my father says, if you work hard, nothing is impossible. You can always achieve your goal. Just work hard, focus, you go back to a drawing table, Talk to your colleagues, to your sportmen, how they did it, how they trained. Copy something from them, learn from them, and you'll reach your goal. As far as we are concerned, you have reached so far, and we believe that giving up is not one of the options. You have to to work hard. We know that most of you are very talented. Just make the best of it. I still remember when we were at school, we spend a lot of time, at least once a week in the afternoon, every Friday, we would be forced to go and do sports. We were not as lucky as you today, if you focus and you put your mind and you want to achieve something. Remember, you can get it if you really want. Never, never give up. The eyes of the younger generations are focused on you. They want to follow your footsteps. You are a model. They want to compare themselves to yourself, to your achievement. They are all proud of you. Believe me. Both at home and abroad. The pride you brought us is something you cannot write away. We were following you. The moment you set foot in Japan, we knew 
something was going to come out. Your names will go down into history. Ah, we are proud of the four medals. All of you work so hard to give us. We congratulate you, Joshua Septegay, on your silver medal win in Tokyo. We, we now have four medals hands in Olympic Games. Thank you very much for listening. And don't forget, I will be